Spiaggia is four-star dining uh, done in the Italian way. That is uh, bringing the uh, best of Italy to America from a standpoint of luxury service, luxury ingredients, uh, all the best products of Italy. Simplicity is a really key thing in Italian food. It's the fact that we make all of the pasta fresh every day. It's what goes on that pasta, or what's tossed with that pasta that really elevates it to that four-star level. If you have really great mozzarella or really great Mediterranean sardines that were air freighted to you overnight, you just want to treat them very simply. We're fortunate that we have this wood-burning oven, whether we roast lamb in there, veal chops, all of it has this great wood roasted flavor. It's all about ingredients and keeping it really simple and appreciating the great ingredient. All right, Tony, tell us why you think Spiaggia is primo. Well, first of all, if you're looking for the special occasion with your honey or for some business entertainment, Spiaggia is the only place in town to be when you're thinking about gourmet dining. Uh, the first thing that you're caught up with is the ambiance. The chandeliers are out of the swirl. You have a high ceiling which goes through the third floor. You walk down the lower tiered steps to give as many tables as possible a view of the beach. By the way, Spiaggi in Italian means beach and also a view of the lake. I was there with uh, uh, two of my friends. Uh, we had the uh, scallops, the fragua, and the uh, rabbit. Uh, everyone thought the rabbit was the tastiest of the dishes, but in terms of combination, presentation, and taste, I thought the scallops was the one. And you mentioned the uh, scallop dish, which is one of uh, Tony Montemano's signature dishes at Spiaggia, and you enjoyed that dish as well, I think. Yes, I, I did. I liked it quite a bit. It really had that wood-burning um, oven taste, and it just it just made it twice as good. I, I didn't know what to expect and when it came out I it was just amazed I was just it was too terrific and I got to say that the staff was extremely friendly they were they were very helpful with with all the different courses and just I, I wasn't sure about uh, about what course to take after the pasta and I, I had I had the duck the roast duck and the duck was phenomenal but the one thing I didn't care for was it seems like people that were, were a little bit on the uptight side if they had to wait like five minutes or so they were just like getting very, very agitated. And so just appreciating the nice surroundings and, and, and the great food, um, they just seemed just a little too concerned about having to wait like five extra minutes. And okay, well, let's, let's be honest about that. It's a Saturday night, and you have an 8 o'clock reservation at any restaurant. What do you think is an appropriate amount of time to wait? If you have reservations, you would, I would have to say like about 10, 15 minutes. I mean, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. as, as long as you're, you know that your name is there and they have you on, on the right spot in, in, in the list. Now, Anna Maria, you went there. How did you find the service to be? I thought the service was fabulous. I actually love this place. I agree with you in everything you said. I thought it was four star. It was very bene. It was very good. <laughs> um, and we had great service. And I had a really positive vibe from this restaurant from the minute I called because they said, have you ever been here before? No. Well, here's what to expect. Um, here's your reservation. They confirmed it with me twice, which is really good. A lot of restaurants don't do that. They told me what to wear, what not to wear. And, you know, just really friendly, really nice. I thought for a high-end restaurant, they treated everybody with the same respect, with the same service from table to table, no matter who was sitting at what table. And the food was excellent. And it was just very simple. They were very upfront because everything is a la carte, of course. They said, don't just make a meal on the pasta because it's not really going to fill you up. And that, to me, was like... It's like about six ounces. I know. It yeah. was like tiny. It was like this big. But, but that's what you expect, but you don't really know that if you've never been there before. But they were just, just upfront and honest and just generally friendly. I mean, I just absolutely love this place. It was a great place, great experience. We didn't talk about the wine here. It's really friendly towards uh, consumers and customers. Uh, there's about 800 entries, but about 60 of them are priced 
from like $29 a bottle to $49 a bottle. And again, you just read the wine book, which to me is a work of art, and I feel the wine steward's love and passion for what he does, and I just want to be in the company of people who are passionate about what they do. I, I, I think I would have loved it even more if I, would, if I didn't have to wear a suit. I have to wear a <laughs> suit every day and when someone says to me, Jack required. Not a big fan. Guys don't but, like no. the Jack required thing. Uh, Phil Collins especially. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but you don't have to wear a suit. You can wear a dress jacket or you can dine at the cafe. And the food's real tasty in the cafe. I'll, I'll give you that, but I, I, I felt like I was back in Catholic high school where they had a dress code and just, I just, you know, just, I just <laughs> well, I think dining overall as a trend throughout the country is becoming a little bit more casual. Even in offices across the country, you know, it's business casual where it's not, you know, everyone in a suit all the time. And I think in that, in that neighborhood you have the Drake, you have a lot of different higher scale places that it's going to attract a different caliber of clientele where they're, they're going to dress appropriately. The uptight ones. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Sometimes I'm uptight, but not on Saturday. Well, this is your favorite place, so wrap it all up for us, Tony. Uh, this is being at the gates of her heaven. This is paradise. It's expensive, but it's well worth it, and it's good to, for the soul to be pampered for a few hours. And Anna Maria, for you? I really enjoyed this place. It is very pricey, though. But I mean, it's not something you would do every day. But what you were paying for is service, and the quality of food was totally matched. It was very good. Raul? The food, high, high quality. This, the service was phenomenal. I just want to dine with like some friendly people on Saturday night. That's all. <laughs> Well, you can find Tony Montuano and Tony Ponzio at Spiaggia at 980 North Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Their phone number is 312-280-2750. They are open seven days a week for dinner, and reservations are strongly recommended. Jackets are required here, and the average tap per person without drinks is about $80.